Now, the interesting thing about Daniel Ricciardo's crash is that the McLarens look to be running a very low ride height. And I think that might have been the problem. We saw Lando Norris have an issue as well. Just bear with me here. But as I go through and I'll show you where he, exactly where he went off. So both McLarens running a really, really, really low ride height. And what that means is, it means as they hit the kerb, um, on the entry to the swing pool chicane, the car is clattering back down. You can see sparks coming out of it. And unfortunately, what happened for poor Daniel, who I met yesterday, I'm not that impressed with Daniel. And unfortunately, this is where he had his moment. Now, what you'll see a lot at Monaco, you see where that lady's sitting in the uh, green and white dress? Often you'll see a lot of drivers kiss the curb there. The way they take this corner is they aim for that barrier and they almost just understeer past it. If you pan around here, you'll see the yellow curb. In fact, we'll come over to the yellow curb here. And uh, the amazing thing about this yellow curb is that the Formula One drivers really do give it a wide berth. It's similar to curves in the Catalonia. It's similar to the curb that we saw at the exit of the um, chicane after the uh, hotel. And the Formula One drivers will get on the sawtooth, but they won't really touch it too much because you can see how close you are to the barrier on the right hand side. So if you hit your left hand wheel, left front wheel on that curb and bounce the car, you're going to lose all turning ability. So they'll go around it. Whereas the poor Supercut drivers, I'll put some footage on, the poor Supercut drivers will absolutely smash his curb. I remember sitting in this grandstand about maybe seven, eight years ago and seeing Sebastian Loeb, one of the best most sport drivers in history, do a uh, guest round in the poor Supercup. And he would absolutely destroy this curb. It's a crazy, 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 crazy curb. And that's normally where you might see accidents here. You'll see drivers either hit the curb, uh, sorry, hit the metal barrier here on the inside, or they hit that yellow curb. But what Daniel did just seemed to kind of, I think the low ride height of the current just meant he was all crossed up on this very short, you can't really call it a straight, but if you pan left here, you'll see the cars kind of shoot out the first bit of the chicane, get very close to the barrier and then look to turn in and kiss the metal barrier here. Daniel Ricciardo completely unable to do that. You can see we've got tech brave barriers here, which I, I believe they've replaced. Or you might, if we come really close over here actually, you might see, I suspect this is where Ricardo really smashed into the Tech Pro and they plastered it. I was here at Monaco again another time where Max Verstappen in his Red Bull absolutely punched a hole in the Tech Pro at saint Devot. And obviously it's quite a big impact for Daniel. They didn't recover the car in FP2. So Daniel basically, I didn't set, didn't set any laps in FP2. Some oil came out as well. They had to cover that with this kind of um, sand or whatever they put down. But not a great moment for Daniel Ricciardo really. Um, and you have to you have to really wonder, you know, is he going to be at McLaren after the end of the season? I absolutely don't know. Right, should we continue the track walk, or should we get a, a vodka Red Bull or a vodka Monster, depending on your preference? Let's keep going. Um, but as they come through this chicane, they slam down, and you can see the cars running really low ride heights, such as the McLaren, the floor sparking as the car slams back down. These may be. There's the Rolls Royce going through, and presumably some VIPs. But if you if you uh, pan down here, this may be where Ricardo kind of, as you can see, kind of slammed down, hitting the curb, and had all sorts of bother. And if we pan around here, you can see they put down more of this uh, kind of sword, sawdust to um, soak up the oil because Ricardo had a really bad time through here, basically smashing into absolutely everything. Might see if we can find some. Uh, carbon fiber that the marshals may have discarded over the sign that would be a nice souvenir wouldn't it but some papaya painted carbon fiber but it's such a fast and furious corner this we're going to come through and i want to show you the height of the curb unfortunately there's some bins on it right now it's pretty crazy that there's going to be qualifying here tomorrow 
they'll do exactly the same thing after qualifying completely open up the track and then it's going to be the race so pretty crazy but let's have a look at this curb on the inside oh we're going to get run over by rolls royce what a way to go so you can see here this curb when you're watching on tv might appear flat but it's our old friends the sawtooth curbs and you can see they've got a yellow kind of index curve right at the beginning and all of the Formula 1 drivers in their qualifying runs are trying to hit this curb and you can hear the vibrations as they go on it. Interesting, not a lot of rubber uh, down at the moment. I wonder if they've actually washed it off because you can see on the end here just the amount of rubber that's on the end of the, the flat curb and I can guarantee you that they're hitting this curb as well. And the cars with a low ride height coming off this curb smashing down on the floor sparking off and i think that's where it all started for ricardo right should we can by the way if you're really liking this videos if you're watching it now and you're liking it hit that like button please do unfortunately these videos don't get the same views as my sim racing videos which makes me very sad so please do hit that like and subscribe and maybe 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 we'll do some more of these if you like them because i really enjoy making them we're going to come down here Uh, basically to back 